Hello, folks. Good afternoon. Welcome. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those uh, put those uh, handles on those tankards that you saw me thumbing off and you saw me pulling the handles. Well, I'm now going to put the handles on. So, you know, when you put on hat, when you put handles on, is <laughs> you should wear an apron, <laughs> like I'm wearing. <laughs> and you might say, "Well, that's pretty dumb, Simon." Of course, you wear an apron. You always wear an apron in the pottery. <laughs> well. You actually need an apron when you're putting on a handle because you need to wipe your thumb on your apron. I'll explain that as we go. <laughs> Sounds very mysterious, doesn't it? Okay, well look. In fact, uh, I've got the... And you can, you can do this yourself. The handles that I did, did have on this board, I decided to just wrap them up in some plastic, you see. And if you can do that with handles. If you spray them and then wrap them, put them all together like this in a lump, you see. And then I can, I can peel them off as I need them. All right? So, and now I've got my... My tankards are here. Now I should have a, a, a banding wheel for a banding wheel for for putting on the handle. So now I'm just giving these a little. A little squirt here, you know, just to just to freshen them up because Remember, always work with on clean wear boards and clean work surfaces and a clean banding wheel. Okay, now what you want to do, I know I've done with this with you many times before. Now this is a rounder, okay? just a thrown conical shape but you can use that you see to push down into your into your mug usually I use them for mugs um, to make sure it's round okay so what we want to do is and it's better to do this let's just bring the camera make sure we're all right, we're pretty much okay, I think. Um, it's better to always work off a banding wheel, all right? So, 
we thumb these off. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your mug and you're going to have a look at it. Now, and if you notice any scar or mark, say in one particular place, well, that's maybe a good place to put the handle, isn't it? Because you can then cover over. So what I do is I dip my, dip my thumb in the water pot Okay, and I, and I scratch here, just on the elbow there, like that. When I say the elbow, I mean, I mean this part here, which is sticking out, you see. So with a wetted thumb, you scratch there and create a, a keyed area, which is wet. All right? Quickly put him down. Now you're going to take one of your, your handles that you pulled. All right, you're going to take him and with the knuckle of your thumb, okay, I, I push down like this, you see, onto the top of, onto the, to, onto the thick end of the handle. Now let's just change the focus here because I want you to see this because it's this actually quite important. I can bring it into focus. Can you see how the end of that, you see because I, I used my, my knuckle, it splayed the end of the clay, you see, making it come out. See this little bit here? See that little bit there? That little bit that's turned out there? And that little bit there? Now you're going to need that clay, you see, like that there because that's what's going to help you fix the handle onto the, onto the mug. Okay. So, that there, you see, is going to go onto there. So, now you want to hold the handle, and you don't want to let the handle drop. So you're going to offer the handle up to the mug and with a little bit of pressure, firm pressure, but not too firm, all right? Now I'm just going to bring the, this camera in at a touch here, because I want you to see this. I want you to see this because, you know, putting on handles is a bit bit tricky isn't it sometimes so let's see you see I've, I've laid the handle down on the edge of the bucket to support it because if you don't do that you see it'll make a weakness there all right so at the moment we're looking something like that all right now as you can see I'm supporting now I'm going to use my thumb and that little bit of clay that I turned over that I showed you just a moment ago you see, I'm going to, with my thumb, push that clay into the body of the pot. You see that there? You see, my thumb is doing the work, isn't it? But my, the rest of my hand is, is supporting. Now, on the underside here, I'm going to, use my, going to use my index finger to take the little bit of turned over clay on the underside you see, to make the join. And it's important that you make a, a, good, a good join. So, I'm holding that because I don't know if my... I'll move it a touch like that. Okay, so now, keeping it, keeping it supported, I'm going to take the, the mug and the handle and change it to the vertical position, you see, then take your hand away. Now you're going to dip the handle in the in the water pot. Now I'm going to I'm going to pull the handle off the pot. All right. Now you see the angle that I've got here going on here. See that that angle, and then that. You see there's like a right angle here, isn't there, between the side of the the mug and the and the handle. So you want to let the handle hang at right angles, vertically, to the mug. Dip it in water. 
And so what I'm doing now is just pulling it off the side of the mug here like that. Okay? Now I'm just going to do a little trick here which most you won't be able to do this maybe, but you can try. I use my thumbnail to score a line all the way down. Watch. You see? So I remove a little bit of clay there and I do the same on the other side. Like that. Alright? It's a decorative feature, you see? Give it a couple more pulls. Okay, now take the end of the handle here and we're going to now put the handle back to the vertical position maintaining the, the end of the handle in your hand like this. Can you see that? Now. Just push it on there lightly and put it on the side of your banding wheel like that and take a stand back from it because you want to you want to make sure that he's um, you want to make sure that he's he's looking right you see da -da -da -da. so pick him up now you see the handle make sure he's not like going one way or the other way make sure he's dead straight okay so when you're satisfied that, 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 that you've got the right amount of uh, space here, kind of look at the negative space that you've got going on inside here, okay? Look at this space in here. All right, now you may need to give the handle a little tweak, a little lift. All right. Now this little tail end here. All right, we are going to. Now this is where wearing wearing an apron, you see, is handy because I'm going to have to wipe my thumb here. Because what I've got to do now is I've got to use my thumb to smear smear away the clay on either side, and. Um, in order to do that, you don't want a wet, slippery thumb. Neither do you want a dry, bone-dry thumb. You want a thumb that is sort of got... It's, it's not wet and shiny like that, all right? Not, neither is it bone-dry like this one. But so what I do is I wet my thumb and then just brush my thumb on my apron like that. Now I'm going to take that th thumb and I'm going to smear that clay away like that you see and again on this side and like that okay now a little tail here we're just gonna flick him off <laughs> flick him off now try not to come back now and touch this too much because you want to, to create here a sort of fresh feel to the uh, to the clay. All right. Just have a little look over the, the the piece. Make sure everything is is straight, and there aren't any obvious nasty gouges or nicks in the pot. Now this pot now is ready to have a seal put, and I well I generally put the seal here. I'll, I'll get the seal and do it. Now, if you've got some seals, it's a good idea. Keep them in a place. You know what? I've for a lot for a long time. You know, as a potter, I could never find my seals when I wanted them because they're very easy to lose, aren't they? Because they're very small. And then I had the brainwave. If I keep my seals in a box, you see. I'll always know where they are. So, and it works, it works, it works marvellously. <laughs> All right, so, you're going to take your seal, and incidentally, you can make your own seals. 
Um, and I'm going to take that seal and let's do this on camera. Let's see. Let's go in a bit here. So you see this. You see that kind of point there. I, that is like a good place to put the seal. If not there, then directly underneath there. Okay, so taking, taking the seal, you're going to impress the seal into that soft bit of clay there, like that. And there it is. Now, to my mind, that looks a lot neater than taking some scratchy object and scratching your name on the bottom. Okay, let's do that, put that on back. Let's take another one, have a quick eye, eyeball him. Take your rounder, just push him in. Are we in focus down there on the banding wheel? Oops, no, we put the focus back, haven't we? All right. So again, let's take our thumbnail, scratch, Scratch that area there with a wetted thumb. Take this, make the slip from the pot. Don't take slip from somewhere else in a pot and apply it. Okay, it's much better to make the slip out of the pot itself. All right, with a little bit of water, just do that. That's pretty easy to do, and you can use your fingernail to do it. All right. You haven't got to use another tool. You use use the tools that God gave you, your fingers, your hand. Okay? So working off the banding wheel, taking the handle, pushing it into that scored keyed area. Okay? Working my hand underneath, making the join, with my thumb on the top, making the join. Okay? Taking it to the vertical, being careful not to let it sag, into the water. Give it a few pulls. Decorative line down the middle there, and again here. A couple more pulls, and over, bend over. Is he straight? Is he the right distance from the pot? What you don't want to have, what you don't want to have is handles that stick out too far. Because they look terrible, don't they? Okay, remember the right the right, the right dampness on your thumb. Apron. <laughs> Take that clay and smear it away. Smear it away. And finish it there like that. Okay. Give him an eyeball over. Give him the once over with your eyeball. Okay. Pay attention to the lip here. If he's been face down on the board, the lip the lip or the rim of the pot here uh, could be, you know, uh, indented or jagged or rough. Okay, if, if it is, dip your finger in the water, go round like that a few times. All right, and he'll be as right as rain. Okay, take that seal, push him in there, and that's it. Another one bites the dust. And so on and so forth. Dee -dee -dee. Now when you finished when you finish the board of pots, all right, it's never a bad idea to put a plastic over them, something like this, okay? so that they dry a bit slowly because you don't want them to dry too fast because the, you've got to bear in mind that the body of the pot is a lot drier than the handle and if, you, if they dry too fast you'll get cracking so better that they dry slowly put a plastic over them put them to one side 
And if you're not in a hurry, leave them like that for 24 hours. Come back to them later, take the, take the, the plastic off, and you should find that you have nice handles with no cracking. So, um, so that's it, putting on handles. <laughs> have a go. And um, yeah, this weekend we've got a workshop coming up, this coming weekend. And uh, I, could, I could actually take a couple more people if, if anybody was prepared to or work on, it on, on, a, on a kick wheel, on my kick wheel. So I have actually got two spare places. If anybody want, wants to come and they want to work on a kick wheel, then um, come, come along for the adventure. Hey, that's all for now. Keep practicing. That's the secret. Yep. Bye-bye.